Hi, this is Mike, and I thought I'd do a quick video of a couple of the new features in the new Title 0.6 release because they're really cool. All right, if you want to get the new title, go to your shell or your command prompt and type cabal update and then cabal install title and you will get title 0.6. Done. Yes, go do that right after you watch this video. All right, so I'm gonna talk about the new synth param operators. So I've got a square, a square, just a simple square wave sample here. Ooh, it even has some reverb. Nice, that was a unintended accident there. Okay, so I've got a, a single sample. Now, if I want to uh, pan this the way that we would do it before title 0.6, and it'll it'll still work here, uh, I would use the pound, I'm sorry, the um, pipe plus pipe operator, and then pan and then a value. And it would sound like this. And I could pan it to the right. So that's that's the way we've been using title for a, quite a long time, this pipe plus pipe. But now, if you want to do it the cool way, uh, and maybe the better way, as I will get to in a moment, you should use the, the hash operator or the number symbol. Um, it's known by a few other names as well, but I will call it the hash, the hash operator. And now it will do the same thing. This hash operator is actually an alias to a new piped, piped synth parameter operator. Operator, That was a mouthful. Uh, called pipe equals pipe. This does the same thing. At this point, uh, it may be a little confusing. We are using, we've used pipe plus pipe, pipe equals pipe, and hash all to do the same thing. This is true. However, the, when used in combination, when you use a synth param uh, multiple times in the same parameter, these now have some cumulative effects. And when you are defining, um, I guess, the original value you want it to be, you should use hash like this. So I'm going to now use uh, speed, speed one. So I'm just playing this, the sample back at its original speed. Uh, but now, if I do something like this, every two, <clears throat> and now if I do speed one like this, with the pipe op or the, the plus operator, what this will actually do is add a value of one to this speed over here. So it takes the original speed and every two cycles it'll add the value of one to that speed. So it will, the speed will equal two every two cycles and it should double in its playback speed. And it'll sound like this. So that's pretty cool. In the past, before title 0.6, if you did this, uh, whatever was inside this every two condition would override whatever you had specified in the original pattern. Uh, but now that's not true. Now it will actually um, uh, do addition, multiplication, subtraction, or um, I, I lost track, division, multiplication, addition, or subtraction. So I can use the multiplication operator here as well. And it'll, in this case, if I leave the pattern unchanged, it will multiply one times one, which doesn't really uh, do anything, obviously. So I can change this to 1.5. And so now I'm multiplying by 1.5 every two cycles. Uh, if you want to, if you actually do want to override the value, you can use uh, the hash. This will work. And that will uh, that will set a constant value rather than uh, doing some other arithmetic operation on it. Um, 
hopefully that makes sense. So, so this is pretty cool. And uh, all right, so now I'm gonna make a slightly more complex pattern here. And uh, I'm gonna play four of these samples and I'm just gonna, I made up a pattern of speeds to play back. And now if I add, so now I can actually add 1.5 to all of these speeds. Maybe self-explanatory. And we can apply, uh, one thing I have not shown really yet is this, um, oh, I'm sorry, uh, division. So I can actually divide. And there's subtraction. Okay, so a few interesting things to note here. By subtracting, uh, let's go through it. So every two cycles, I subtract 1.5 from one. So it is actually gonna play back this sample at the f uh, uh, this first speed at minus 0 0.5. So it's gonna play it in reverse at a lower speed. Then the second speed will evaluate to zero. And title has a special condition where it will not play a sample back if its speed is zero. So we had a gap there. So if I change it back to like, uh, I don't know. We'll just set it to that. Not that it matters right now. Uh, then 1.5 from 2 will result in a speed of 0 0.5, and then from 3 will result in 1.5. So you can get some really cool things going if I if I uh, um, I'm d I'm just gonna make this up. So have a longer pattern with a bunch of bunch of values and then in speed here if I subtract um, and actually uh, if you start to have these two patterns kind of overlap on top of each other if we do something like this So already you can achieve some pretty interesting stuff uh, just by messing around with some simple arithmetic, which is kind of fun. So I'm using speed here, and I guess I also want to show the up function. So I'm going to bring the up function in. Now up is not, I don't think it's actually in the title code base yet, but uh, if we do up, now up will actually play a semitone. So it uses speed and a constant value here to to calculate a specific semitone on a musical scale. So, so I can do something like this and play, uh, I can have like a, like a minor scale here. Uh, if I do, I think, let's just do this. So I'm, I'm kind of getting off track here, I guess. But if I play, So that's that's up being used by itself, but then I can multiply up um, uh, like this, and we can get a different result. So up will be, you know, you can any synth parameter in this case up, uh, but we could use coarse or crush. Um, crush actually has some effect with a negative value. Um, and so with crush, we could even do, um, I don't know, I'm just making this up. We could do something like this. All right, so that, that's enough of that. You, you get the idea. You can multiply, divide, add, subtract, uh, do equals for a constant or hash for a constant. All right, so, all right, enough of that. So I've got, uh, I wanna move on to stut prime, which is pretty cool. Let's do, uh, I've got a shorter square sample here and just play that. Um, I'll make it a, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna play a single sample. There we go. Short and sweet, okay. 
Now, if I do, uh, let me show you the old stut. How long have I been running here? 10 minutes. All right, that's not bad. Um, okay, so the old stut function, I could do something like this, where it will, uh, stut will take the sample and then play it again, in this case, four times at a volume of 25% of the previous sample and at a, a distance or time from the last sample of this much of a cycle. And so in this case, a single square wave would sound like this with stut 4025025. You can uh, increase the number of stuts, number of stutters, I guess. All right, so that's that's kind of a fun function. So now there's stut prime, which is similar. Uh, I can uh, specify the number of times to repeat the sample. I can specify the time, and I'll just pick something like this, 0 0.125. And then now I can specify a pattern of what to do with each subsequent sample being repeated. So I can do something like, um, speed two, maybe on every subsequent stutter, I want to increase the speed. And I'm only stuttering by, by one here. If I change that to like three, I'll sound like this. And we can obviously increase the, or decrease the speed between So that's kind of cool. And of course we can multiply, and I'm gonna multiply by a smaller value here. And with up, you can achieve um, some, uh, here we could do like a chromatic scale, or a whole tone scale. So it, I think it's challenging to maybe get an exact scale value here, but um, but the idea is really cool. Um, I think if you had you know some kind of pattern here, like three point eight, or I'm sorry, three comma eight for the the Euclid stuff, um, and then I don't know, I'm just gonna make something up here. Uh, I'll do one point five. Yeah. I, I, that was a complete accident. I didn't know what this was going to sound like, and we've already got kind of a, a fun little chromatic rhythm there. Um, so if we do this. Um, yeah, you get the idea. So a stut is really cool. You can then combine stuff in, the, in this pattern as well. So if I do something like this... So now we've got up, and then I could do something else like, um, I don't know, course, like this. This will apply both an up and a course on each subsequent stutter. Oh, I got an error, course. Oh, I could spell, that'd be good. Oop. There we go. Let me subtract one here. So that's kind of interesting. It actually sounds like up is um, making this go up instead of down. Oh, no, it's not. It's actually playing it backwards. So that makes sense. Okay. Got it. Um, yeah, so you can really do a lot of fun stuff with this. You can create almost uh, scale-like patterns using step prime and then specifying a pattern of what to do with each sub subsequent sample, which is pretty fun. Um, I think these things are really cool. Uh, so the new synth params are pretty pop uh, powerful, and stud is awesome, so you should use title 0 0.6.
uh, because it's great. Yeah. All right. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful and uh, see you in the future.